Hey everybody, welcome back to our modded farm. Last time we did everything but fishing, which I think ended up <laughs> being the episode title. Did a whole lot of mining. A whole lot of mining and a whole lot of ore gathering. Uh, today we're gonna do some fishing for sure. We're gonna start thinking about farm design and how we wanna how we wanna start automating some stuff. And we're probably gonna do even more mining, to be honest with you. I've been thinking a lot, mainly just because this is really intimidating because of how many machines there are. There are so many machines, but I'm sure we'll figure it out naturally. All right, looks like we got some chamomile and some basil today. I said basil uh, in episode one and y'all crucified me in the comments, so. Basil. You have some basil. Generally speaking, the herb is sweet, slightly minty, and slightly peppery. That is actually a very good way of describing basil. If you had asked me to, I would have not been able to do that. Chamomile, white daisy-like flowers with a scent reminiscent of apples or pineapple. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and, and bin both of these to tick off two more spots on our, on our um, collections page. And now that we have some extra space in our field. Boop, boop, there we go. All right, first thing I wanna do today Y'all were smart enough to point this out in the comments. I don't know why I didn't think to do this. I've been so obsessed with automating everything. Why not automate my furnaces? So we're gonna do that first of all. Looks like our UI suite is telling us we have good luck today. That I think that means it's a star drop day. I think green means it's a star drop day. There seemed to be some uh, debate in the comments last episode over what just the white die meant because I was saying that it meant good luck and a lot of people were saying no actually means neutral luck. Uh, I searched it and I was correct, so haha. -ha. So the green die like we have today is a star drop day, so super good luck. The white die is the pyramid luck day, which is good luck, but not like super good. And then if the die is gray or like blackish, that means it's a neutral day or like slightly bad. And then our red die is the like skull day. So now we have that information. Also, I completely zoned out while chopping those trees. And now I realize that our energy is incredibly low. It's fine, It's it's everything's okay. We'll get through this. All right, so let's make a chest. And here's how we're gonna do this, I think. There we go. That should work. All right, so now we can go ahead. We'll put some coal in here and let's just go like this. And boom, look at that. It's melting five copper bars right now and we'll keep our bars in there. So that's all automated. That's so incredibly sick and I love it with all of my being. Also, we already had five wood paths, but it's okay. Okay, here's here's the plan. Here's, here's the plan for today. First of all, we're gonna grab some cave carrots and eat those because we need energy, except we're gonna save one for the community center. We're gonna go down to the beach. We're gonna fish and sell fish straight to Willy until we can afford the reinforced rod, and then uh, that'll be great. <laughs> And, and that's really it. I wanna buy a bunch of strawberries at the egg festival. And then after that, I want to buy all of the like meat <laughs> seeds that we passed up on when we got our first batch of crops. I'd like to put an aquamarine on my great grandfather's tombstone. Maybe we'll get one. We'll see. I'll try my best, Penny. Also, it's Vincent's birthday. So we're gonna have to give Vincent a gift today. Not exactly sure if we have anything that he likes. I don't think we do. Let's actually go back and check. Pretty sure his favorites are snails. I know he likes snails. I know he likes um, grapes. Don't have those. So we're probably gonna have to resort to just like a liked gift. Apparently he likes daffodils, which is perfect because we have one of those in our inventory right now. So we're just wasting a lot of time today. That's fine. All right, let's see if we can track down Vincent. If he's not in his house, he's gonna be at the library with Jazz and Penny. Uh, yeah, okay. He's not. <laughs> Happy birthday, young man. Yay. As Penny says, I have to read this book before I can go play. All right, read the book then. That gives us another heart. All right, so we have a heart with Vincent. We have a heart with Lewis. It's a good start. And it's 1.20 p.m. God damn it. We got to see if we can make over a thousand gold in three hours of fishing, which is probably impossible. All right, here we go. Let's do what we can. Awesome start. All right, looks like there's no way we're gonna be able to get the reinforced rod today, but maybe maybe tomorrow if we if we fish some more tomorrow, we'll figure it out. We weren't able to get a full day of fishing in because we wanted to set up our furnaces and we had to give Linus a gift. Not Linus, Vincent. I was close though. Okay, so you know how sometimes during these episodes I say like, oh, I wish I had something to talk about during this downtime. To solve this, I've decided to make it like a, a document on my notes app on my phone and start like jotting down anytime. <laughs> something interesting happens that I think I could talk about in a video. But the downside of this is that I, I established this system like a month ago, and now going back to stuff that I wrote down like a month ago, I don't remember what I was trying to remember. For instance, the very first 
bullet on this list is Lizard Lady, and I cannot remember what that means. I'm trying to think of a single event in my life that would have anything to do with lizards. Oh, we just leveled up in fishing. We are level four. Ooh, jeez. Oh, that, oh, that's enough for the recycling machine. We're gonna want to make that as soon as we can because that's gonna make our trash system a lot more profitable. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Lost track of time. Lost track of time. Oh, we barely made it. Not even close. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot tomorrow. Oh, I remember. Okay, <laughs> so I think this is what I wanted to say. Basically, some friends and I went to like this market uh, that comes to my college town every month and it, it's just a bunch of people set up booths of for all their products, all these little small businesses, a lot, a lot of soaps, a lot of jewelry, but also a lot of fun things like homemade Play-Doh was one, that was cool. But anyway, we were walking around looking at all the booths and there was this dude walking around with like a, it wasn't even like a lizard, it was bigger, well it was just a big lizard on like a little leash. And it was super cute, and, and the lizard was just walking around with him, and he'd let people come pet it, and it was great. And it was a lizard. So while this dude was walking around with this lizard, there was this old couple sitting in their front yard, oops, sitting in their front yard by the market. The woman, like, piped up, and she was like, um, excuse me, to like the guy who owned the lizard. And he turned around, and she was like, don't you think you're like, mistreating this lizard by keeping it around so many people? It looks terrified. And the guy was like, uh, no, I've been actually training lizards for years, and I know that he's comfortable right now, I can read his emotions. Uh, he actually likes attention. And she was like, I'm pretty sure you're, like, mistreating this lizard, I don't think that's okay. Um, but okay. No, ma'am, I've- I've owned a lizard for, like, 40 years. I've owned various lizards for decades, like, I know I know lizards. Have you ever owned a lizard? And she was like, no, I just think that you're kind of being rude. It's like, you don't... Ma'am, you don't have a lizard. Who are you to tell this man how to take care of his lizard when you've never freaking had a lizard a single time? And she totally had the, like, snarky 60-something-year-old woman voice, if you if you kind of catch my drift. It was so awful, and we just had to watch it all happen. Also, good lord, we are crushing it with the fish quality. Did you see that? We have, like, two iridium and, like, four gold. Oh, this is gonna be another gold or iridium because we got a perfect catch. Yep, iridium. Good god, we're so talented. So anyway, that made my blood boil. On the bright side though, I'm very relieved that I remembered what lizard lady meant. Because if I if I didn't remember that, that would have driven me insane. Ooh, treasure chest. Treasure chests can be so good early game. Please. They can also be terrible, but they can be good. That's terrible. It's okay though. So anyway, that's my lizard lady story. Hope everyone enjoyed. I feel like everyone has at least one story like that of some like old lady totally overstepping and thinking she knows everything about something that she's never experienced. Uh, we are out of energy. We could eat a fish, but like, I caught these fish. I don't want to eat them. Okay, I'll eat, I'll eat one. I'm gonna eat a gold sardine. Mmm. Just delicious. I think overall that'll be a good investment unless we get like five things of trash. That market is so great. I, my, my favorite is uh, most of the, the booths are like really standard, like the super stereotypical 20 something year old girl selling vegan soaps or whatever with like papyrus font. <laughs> but occasionally you get stands that are just like, just a gem. And my favorite was there was this one booth that was selling these like custom signs and most of them were the total like stereotypical live laugh love kind of thing or like home is where the heart is stuff like that on, on one of the shelves all these sweet signs that were like oh live laugh love and then in between all of them was one that just said fart zone and then i went back and it was gone which meant someone bought it in the like four seconds i left to go find something so that was hilarious bye willie it's turning at 10 p.m casual Oops. All right, we'll do this cast and then one more and then we'll call it there because I don't want to eat any more of my nice little fish. Dang it. Ah, I should be getting perfect catches every time with these. These aren't too hard. Ooh, clam. All right, buy trash. Pretty, pretty successful. Oh. Oh, it's the Linus cutscene. Oh, you're not going to find anything in there, pal. I've systematically routed that trash elsewhere. Oh, is this Linus's backstory? Sorry, my hand slipped. I'm not going to sell these fish. I'm not gonna sell them yet. Also, that works very well. This system right here. Yep, there we go. One more iron bar in the works. Level 4 fishing recycling machine. Very nice. We're looking to get like 10 sprinklers, right? So we want to hold on to 10 
iron bars and 10 copper bars. I've, I've gone ahead and done something that was recommended by you guys in the comments. And if you're unhappy with this, I understand, because I guess it can technically be cons considered cheating. But a lot of the recipes for all the new machines that that mod added were so unbelievably grindy. Like each one require, like each one require, like each one require, requiring, like each one requiring 20 iron bars level of grindy. Like insane. So I went into the mod files and I modified all of the recipes to make them a lot more affordable. For instance, this canning machine is now two iron bars and one copper bar instead of 10 iron bars and five copper bars, which takes two full days of grinding to get just one canning machine. And in a playthrough where each episode is only three days, that's not going to work. So we're going to get a canning machine. And here's what we're going to do. Fish factory over here. And this will be the first. So this is our canning machine. Let's grab our fish and throw them in here. Um, okay, the canning machine is not uh, working with Automate. Let me see if it's a problem with the canning machine or if it's just not compatible with Automate. Okay, that's really tragic. Oh, it's instant. It's literally instant. So that's why they were so expensive. It's because it's literally instant. It's, or it's 10 minutes. Okay, so we've found something new. So it was a bad call to make the recipes a lot cheaper. I thought it would be like cheese presses and mayonnaise machines where it takes a while to make the stuff and you need a bunch of them. But okay, so I so I so basically I am cheating by making all these way cheaper. I guess I'll have to go back before next episode and put them all back. My bad. All right, so we also need to keep in mind that they don't work with automate. That's fine. We'll, we'll think of some other creative ways to use automate. Okay, we have an extra chest now. Next time we need a chest. We got canned halibut, canned herring, canned flounder, canned sardine, and canned anchovy. What a merry crew. This better turn a profit. Oh, I could have just checked by like hovering over them before selling, all right, whatever. Well, we got a tulip and two potatoes and some kale. We're out of space. Let's just dump this all in the bin and we'll make today a not fishing day. And then we'll make tomorrow a fishing day. And we're gonna bin one potato and our tulip. And we're gonna save the other potato for the community center. There we go. Kale's also going in the bin. We're, we're, we're ticking off tons of pages there. Okay, so we've learned a lot here today. Uh, number one is that I have blatantly cheated. In the future, when I have more copper and iron, I'll throw out a bunch of bars to make up for it. I'm sorry. Hi, doggy. I don't know where to put this now. I'll just put it, I don't know. Canning machine. Let's do... <laughs> Okay, how much do we need for the recycling machine? What do we need? 25 wood, 25 stone, and an iron bar. Okay, and I have picked the worst possible luck day to go to the mines. Let's go team. All right, recycling machine, let's go set it up. Well, actually, to make, make the trip easier, we're gonna go drop off all our stuff and then go into town, set up the recycling machine, and then go to the mines because I think that's a quicker route. We'll, we'll bring a couple of dandelions in case we need the energy. All right. Let's go. Okay, so I'll go back through all the recipes before next episode and change them back to their harder counterparts because I didn't know that they would all be instant. I thought they would be like casks or like, I mean kegs. I thought they'd be like kegs or like preserves jars where you need a ton of them because they take so long. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what is off limits for NPCs, but I'm gonna take a guess that no one walks here and just hope that that's the case. All right, so now all of this stuff is gonna pipe into the recycling machine and then that's gonna pipe back into the chest. So now our, our trash system is stronger than before. All right, let's do this. Let's go, let's go iron floors first because I think we have a little more copper than iron right now. Good start. We're gonna be getting literally everything, all the ore, we're gonna kill all the dust sprites because we need as much coal as we can get. We're gonna break all the gem nodes because they give XP. We're gonna grab all the quartz because we need it for a bunch of machines. Let's go. Coffee bean, that's so good. That's actually very good. I was talking last episode about how I wanted to buy the coffee bean from the cart because there's like an espresso machine or whatever. But now we just got one. We'll go ahead and plant that when we get back tonight. I've been playing a lot of Quiplash lately with some kids from my hall and it is a fun time. Jackbox is so fun, dude. They, the people who made Jackbox are so smart. They know how to make a fun game. But with Quiplash especially, Quiplash with the right people is my favorite game in existence. I think it's so fun if you're playing with a bunch of people who have a similar sense of humor to you, a bunch of friends, it's great. But I feel like how fun Quiplash is, is so dependent on who you play with. Cause for me personally, when I play with like my friends from back home, it's a blast cause we all have the same stupid sense of humor. But sometimes you'll hop into a Quiplash game with someone who for every answer is just like, haha, 
penis. Answering literally every prompt with penis isn't funny. I'm sorry, but it's just not. So I love Quiplash, but if you play with the wrong people, it can get pretty. And that sounds pretentious when I say that. Like, oh, my, my humor is so elevate. No, it's, it's just like, I personally think it's dumb, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a freak. But with the right crowd, Quiplash is a miracle. Okay, let's get some copper as well, because we need both. Also the frozen tier, because that's, we need a frozen tier for each ice cream machine. Yeah, one frozen tier, one iron bar, one battery pack. It was 20 iron bars and I changed it, because again, I thought it meant 20 iron bars and you'd need like 40 of them, but nope, you need like one. So, oops. Ooh, earth crystal, we need that. Let's get rid of the sap. Oh, I see some copper down there. Die. And how many is it? One. Very nice. We're gonna need a little bit more. Just a just a little bit more. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Uh-uh. Definitely not gonna have to be passed. Thank you. As the red die predicted, this has been a horribly unlucky trip to the mines. Usually I get a bunch more ore than this by now. And this is gonna be an infested floor, because of course it is. Goodbye. What an awesome day at the mines. Just a total winner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call it there. That sucked. That was so bad. It's okay. Everything is fine. Wonder how much my canned seafood is gonna sell for. Oh, a leak. I want that. Oh, there we go. Level three foraging. All right, well, first of all, community center, uh, frozen tier, earth crystal quartz. Yeah, okay, we're we're kind of cruising with the community center. Let's throw in our ores, take a couple for the boiler room, hold on to the rest, and plant our coffee bean. And we also need to water it. Level three foraging, we get a dehydrator and a drying rack. Okay. We made like a thousand, I guess, from the canned fish. I accidentally skipped it. Not as good as I actually expected, but still fine. Oh my God, what is happening? Oh, this is like a custom envelope. How's your work going as you restore the farm? No doubt you must feel a bit more connected to nature as opposed to before you arrived in town. Since you've shown entrance in a I, okay, I'm at like a second grade reading level. Like each one were corrupt. Since you've shown interest in a more hands-on approach to living, here's a recipe for homemade brown sugar. Now you can really say you're cooking from scratch. And egg festival tomorrow. Okay, and a blue jazz and a cabbage, both of which are going in the bin. We're getting some, some things ticked off there, that's good. Okay, how do you make brown sugar from scratch? Oh, uh, I guess it's like a cooking recipe. Yeah, and I don't have a kitchen. Okay, okay, well let's water our crops first of all. And then I think we're gonna just spend the day fishing. I think that's the move today. No birthdays, we can just take a day to fish. These machines not working with automate is tragic for sure. I'm gonna have to do some research between this episode and next episode uh, and figure out if there's a way I can configure that. Because if there is, that would be really great. So I'll do some I'll do some looking into that. How many bars do we have? 10 and 50. All right, we're, we're good. We're totally good. So we will be able to hit our goal of 40 sprinklers and, f or not 40 spring. We'll be able to hit our goal of 10 sprinklers and 40 strawberries if we can make 1300 gold today, which I'm almost positive we can, especially since actually, you know what? Let's risk it. Let's risk it for the biscuit here. I'm going to buy the reinforced rod and then just see if we can make like 3,300 gold with the reinforced rod, which I'm still pretty sure we can. I would like the fiberglass rod. Have I been calling it the reinforced fishing rod this whole time? Why have I been doing that? What is that? Okay, well, either way, goodbye. What is that from? Why do I keep saying reinforced rod? Also, I forgot that it's 1,800, not 2,000, so we only need to make like 3,000, which I'm sure we can do. Let's check on our trash system. I know I keep talking about how Time is so delicate and whatever, but okay, our recycling machine survived the night. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that right there. I'll leave this here. We'll, we'll let it collect over time and I'll just do one big like collection spree in like a week. So even though today hasn't been the most conventional day, we have made a lot of progress, I'd like to think. We crafted our first machine, which is cool. All right, and we're off. I'll pay a little more attention this time when we're canning our fish to if we're actually making a profit by doing that. Because there's a chance that we aren't. You never know. I say we should pay attention to whether or not canning our fish is important, but I know I'm gonna forget again. Just wait. It's gonna happen. I don't know why this memory just like came to me the other day. But did y'all, it, it was especially in like elementary school. Most people grew out of it by high school. There were a few that didn't, but most of them did. In your elementary school, did y'all ever have those girls that would like, who were in the like school play that would like, 
Oh, that's a good chest. They would like try to save their voice for the performance or whatever. So they just like wouldn't talk for a whole day and they'd be like, I'm saving my voice for the performance. Like, okay, you have no lines. There's one girl in my sixth grade class who did that. She was literally a background dancer and had no lines in the play. I 100% doubt this girl watches my videos, but if you do, you know who you are. She was so, she took the whole like saving my voice thing so far. She brought a whiteboard, like a little personal whiteboard into class to like write messages on to communicate with people. Everyone was like, come on, dude, you have no lines in this play. What do you, like, what's the goal? I don't know why that just kind of came to me the other day, but it's so funny to me that <laughs> people would do that. It was usually the same group of people who would like sing everyday sentences. They're like, I'm a singer. Is anyone sitting here? And they'd be like, no. It's like, all right. Okay, one large one gold largemouth bass sells for 150. So we'll see how much the canned largemouth bass sells for. Oh my God, another largemouth bass. Oh my God. Wow, it's only 240. I thought it would have been a little farther along by now. Mother catch. And we're out of room again. Okay, let's let's ditch the clam. We have so many clams. At the time of recording this, my new computer is arriving tomorrow. And I am so scared and also so confused as to how I'm going to do this file transfer. I've been using the computer I'm on right now for like three years. It has all my YouTube files and just all my files in general on it. And I'm pretty much starting with scratch from the other computer. And I know I can move some of the files from this computer onto that one. And I already spent all day yesterday figuring out which ones I probably need. But I'm still scared. So the videos might either suck or be uploaded less frequently for the next like a week or so while I sort all this technology stuff out, but I'll figure it out. Oh, we're about to run out of energy. Oh, good lord. Oh, we have leaks, we have leaks, we have leaks. Can always count on the leaks to keep me going. We better make a ton of money today or I'm going to be cross. I'm gonna be so cross. I would like the backpack upgrade, but as things are now, we just can't really afford that. We better run out of energy again. And this time we don't have any leaks. What will we do? I guess eat a carp, but that makes me sad. There's another carp. That should help us with our energy. We can do one more cast after the, okay. Wow, I didn't know an iridium bullhead is as valuable as a gold largemouth bass. That's crazy. That's, I don't know why bullheads are so valuable. They're so easy to catch. Another iridium bullhead. A yaw. <laughs> the word yaw is so funny to me for some reason. Ooh, treasure chest. Please be something good. Could be a weapon, could be an artifact, could be a bunch of money, could be a bunch of cool things, just in general. Could also be coal and bait. I was close. <laughs> Catch this idiot, let's go. So many idiots we're catching. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make so much money, dude. We're gonna make so much money. Not like that, though. That's not gonna make us money. This is our this is our fish lineup. Three silver chub, five gold largemouth bass, four gold carp, 14 gold chubs. Five iridium bullhead, one gold bullhead, one silver bullhead, four iridium chub. And we're gonna see if canning them is even worth it. Daffodils look really weird in the nighttime. Silver bullhead, 93 gold, 150. What about this? 150 gold, canned, also 150. Okay, regardless of quality, it's the same price no matter what. So if they're iridium, there's no point in canning them because it's the same price is what I am gathering from this. It's one in the morning. I'm not gonna have time to can all of these because we have to sell all of this tonight to get my money for the egg festival. Fish and cans and fish and cans and fish and cans. Oh, I should have saved some for the community center, whatever. We'll, we'll do more lake fishing later anyway. So here's level five fishing. When I hit level five fishing, I almost always pick Fisher, almost always. However, I'm gonna pick Trapper and you're gonna see why uh, a while down the line. We made almost 4,000 gold. Great, wonderful. For starters, it's because we're gonna be canning a lot of the fish we catch, but there's another reason that you'll see eventually. But for now, our time on the modded farm is up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a few days, about a week to be exact. Gonna try and upload these episodes every Tuesday if I can. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.